from today, God has delivered your enemies into your hands. Arise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. But God's glory and God's you are invited to join the general overseer, Prophet Peter Kojo Segu, as he directs our path to God's kingdom. On Praise TV Fridays, 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., you can also join us at our church auditorium at South Odoko, adjacent St. Anthony School, Sakaman. On Wednesdays, 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., last Friday of every month, half night, and Sunday service, 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. For more details, please call 0555-241-303 or 0205-840-459. Worship with us for a huge breakthrough and transformation in your life. Hello, hello, my dear brothers and sisters in the kingdom of God in Ghana and across the world. Good morning to you. And we are here to share God's word. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit this prophetic Bible study to your hands. And I pray somebody will learn something important from the living word of God. And his or her life will never be the same again. I bless you, but thank you that we are growing in the Lord by reading our Bibles by taking the key word from the word of the Lord, by considering our spiritual growth and faith, so that we become the people that God Almighty wanted us to be, because He has blessed us with everything, the power, the authority, and the anointing. We've been given authority and power over all devils and demonic spirits, and you know, over all diseases and sicknesses. We give you glory, we give you praise, that we rule and reign with Jesus on earth from heaven, because Bible says we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. We bless you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's share God's word. I'm talking to you this morning about give them something to eat. Give them something to eat. This was a saying from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, after he preached to many people uh, even when you read book of John chapter 6 he, he, pre, he took about three days and did that Holy Ghost convention with the people and then ate because they were fasting the same time healing the word of the Lord on the third day Jesus knew that if he allows them to go many will fall on the way and, and they may die because they were in the village uh, in the bush mountainside somewhere so they were far from homes and from their houses so Jesus performed a miracle by loaves of bread and fishes, few bread and fishes. And uh, they ate and ate and then they had a 12 basket full after he gave thanks to God for the loaves of bread and fishes from a, a small boy. They gave the rest of the food to him, the bread and the fishes to the small boy, which had in return 12 basket full of the fishes and bread. So this morning we are learning something that you need to calm down, maybe you know the story, but as the word of God keeps coming like this, because the only way out is not outside the word, it's from the word of the Lord. If you study God's word to that level, if you are not careful, you say it's boring, it is boring, let me buy from this, let me watch this video, let me do it. But that also sometimes is dangerous because as you watch, you are not careful, you are investing negative things into your life. It should continue to be in the arena or the atmosphere of God's word, atmosphere of worship, of the Holy Spirit, of God the Father and the Holy Spirit, so that it pro they produce to you the peace, the joy, the comfort, the healing, and the anointing to carry on with your life, so that you are not be tempted by something outside God's word, that you defy yourself because of what you watch, without you being aware, and then you start having bad dreams and you begin to go through. So you need to be certain and know that you are in the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of darkness. Kingdom of darkness operates differently and the kingdom of God is higher, also operates differently. So you are a child of God. It's not even that you are permitted to watch, to read, to talk, to listen or to see because you are a child of God. Hallelujah. May the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to go into God's word. I believe you will learn something from God's word. I'm reading 
Luke chapter 9, verse 12 to 17. And I'm talking about give them something to eat. This is what Jesus said to his people in his days, and today he's telling us, you and I. Luke chapter 9, verse 12 to 17, and profile. Now the day was ending, and the 12 disciples came and said to him, Send the crowd away, so that they may go into the surrounding villages and come to side and find lodging and get provisions. Because here we are in an isolated place. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish. Unless perhaps we go and buy food for all these people. For there were about 5,000 men, and he said to his disciples, have them sit down to eat in groups of about 50 each. They did so, and had them all sit down. Then he took the 12 loaves and the two fish, and he looked up to heaven and gave thanks and blessed them and broke them and kept giving them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were completely satisfied, and the broken pieces which they had left over were abundant and were picked up. 12 baskets full. Thou says God's word. Amen. So the Lord is saying something to you and let go into the point, the subtopic, have them sit down to eat in groups. Now Jesus has made the provisions. He says, give them something to eat. Maybe you need something, you need something that can satisfy you. It could be water, it could be food, it could be clothing, it could be a car, it could be a house, it could be to pass your exams, it could be to get money to complete your education, to pay semester school fees, etc. It could be a journey to abroad, it could be anything, a land you wanted to develop. It could be your son who is in need of something and you as mom or daddy, you cannot provide and that is what you need. So have them sit down to eat in groups. It means mina cross come. So this morning I'm telling you mina cross come because the only way out for me to interpret this is that anytime we are in a group or we are church and Bible where two or three have gathered in his name, he is in the midst of his people. So when the word of God is coming, the first thing is that the people should not stand to hear the word of God. Did you know what? They should sit down in companies, in groups, arrange them. Then the, 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 the podium will be there and a pastor, man or woman will stand behind the pulpit to minister God's word. As the word of God is coming, then they are feeding our spirit. They are feeding our spirit with God's word that is like loaves and fishes. You should that. So when God, God's word is coming, we need to learn to make sure that there is orderness in the temple, order. No one is talking, no one is opening the door, a window anyway to make a noise because God is ministering to us through one single soul. So when it came like this, those who are disciples like ushers or the kings or uh, uh, what they call evangelists to ensure that there's calmness and there's simplicity and orderness at work in the temple or in the group so that we share God's word, we hear to know the mind of God because at the moment, the person is feeding your the minister is feeding your spirit. So we have the physical food that we eat to nourish our bodies. We have the spiritual food that we also eat to nourish our spirituality by the power of the Ghost. Hallelujah. So have them sit down to eat in groups is a subtopic I'm giving to you. Number one, where there is no way, Jesus makes a way. Because at the moment, three days he preached, nobody had had nothing, they, 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 they didn't eat. And Jesus being a wise God and great God, he knows the end from the beginning. After feeding them in the spirit and healing their bodies and everything, if they could have gone, many would have died on the way. And so he had to by four perform a miracle with loaves of bread and fish. And then they ate and the men were counted, 5,000 women uncountable, children uncountable. Look at that! So God is able to supply all of our needs. Philippians 4, 19 said that God will supply our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. So God is ready to supply everything for us. He's ready to give us everything. No matter the demand of the needed things that we are looking for, no matter the things we are crying for, that, like uh, Elisha said to the king of Israel, Tomorrow by this time, this will happen, miracle. 
and then the, uh, uh, the king's servant, who is a cab bearer to the king, said, ah, he was the only one who spoke. He said, ah, this famine that has really caused women to kill their children, and they, they have then lie soup with fufu and eating their children for many years now. This, this kind of famine, even if God, the, the, the guy said, even if God opened the windows of heaven, the blessing from the windows of heaven cannot supersede the famine. Elijah the prophet said in the Paris to the king of Syria at the time, he said that it will happen, but you will never be part of it. So when the miracle took place and the lepers went and they reported to the king of Israel, the Bible says the people in the city trampled on that servant at the gate of where Samaria and he died because he doubted the word of the Lord. So never doubt God. Never doubt his provision is the ability to provide you everything, marriage, husband, wife, children, money, accommodation, food and clothing, and whatever you may need, God is the one to supply. He said, you will supply us our needs in Philippians 4.19 according to his riches in glory. What? By Christ Jesus. So, number one, where there is no way, Jesus makes a way. There is no way at all. Number two, where there is no solution jesus our lord provides a solution where there is no solution jesus our lord provides a solution so anything that anything that you are facing uh, uh, catastrophic things that you are going through something that you think there is no turning point there is turning point in Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one go to the Father except through him in John 14, verse 6. Hallelujah. So that is number two. Where there is no solution, Jesus our Lord provides a solution. Number three, where there is no help, Jesus our shepherd gives help to us. Psalm 23, verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. You, you will never lack any good in, in the land of the living because he created you, he made your organs, he made your body, your spirit and, and your soul. So you will make sure if you depend on him and your faith is not weak, don't let your faith to be weakened by doubting him, by uh, having fear and unbelief in your heart against God and God's word. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above that we ask or think according to the power that was in us. To him be praised and glory in the church forever hallelujah so number four where there is dryness jesus our savior brings refreshment so any type of dryness we are going through dryness of, about marital financial business sector uh, um, accommodation anointing anything that you are lacking dry you cannot pray when you pray you don't feel the anointing of god you always dull it says any form of dryness jesus the savior is bringing refreshment upon your life where there's dryness, Jesus, our Savior, brings refreshment. And number five, where there is emptiness, Jesus, our, our provider, brings fulfillment to us. He's the one who will provide you everything that you need in the land of the living because he created you, he brought you into this world. Look up to him, look above him. Look above the crowd and look up to him. He's in the sky every day, he lives in your heart. Come on, look up. Thank you, Jesus. He is here. He is with us always. What? Even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. He said, and lo, I will be with you even unto the end of the world. In Matthew 28, 19, 20, I know the cameraman will put it there. Matthew 28, 19, 20, where he's saying, and lo, I will be with you, King James, even unto the end of the age. Number five, where there is emptiness, Jesus our provider brings fulfillment to us. Emptiness. You are empty, you feel weak, you feel sad, no joy, no hope, no peace. You are down in your spirit. You are breached in your spirit, your soul and body. Things are tough for you. Confusion, you hear voices, negative voices. You are sad, you are always down with one Ghana. You are going through so much, you don't know who to ask for help. Seek Jesus, keep talking to Jesus. He will see you through. So that is it, number five again. Where there is emptiness, Jesus, our provider, brings fulfillment to us. Number six, where there is no hope, Jesus, our first comforter, brings peace and joy to us. Where there is no hope, Jesus, our first comforter, brings 
peace and joy to us. And lastly, number seven, where there is no vision, Jesus, our leader and compass, direct us. So seek him, trust him, mind to seven, seven, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened. And the camera man will put that one, the Matthew 7, 7 to 8, or Matthew 7, verse 7. It says, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened. Three levels of prayer. You ask for a long time, you couldn't get a result. You move to seeking. Mm -hmm. And then you seek. I say, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Uh -huh. And knock. All of them, they have their meaning. Ask, you receive. Because seeking, you cannot receive. It's a ask, receive. Seek, find, knock. So the intensity of praying to God will determine the doors opening. You will find, you will receive, you will find, and then the door will be open for you, unto you. So praise may the Lord be with you. I know that you are fortified, you are satisfied in the spirit. There is a challenge for you to go to the Lord by seeking Him here. When he was on earth, he too, he was on mountains, praying and praying daily. Even when he was on the cross, he was what? He was praying and interceding for those who were killing him. He said, Father, what? Forgive them what? Because they don't know what they are doing. Forgive everybody, forget everybody and focus on God. Never think about the rest of the world. Anytime you are to home and you are there alone, don't think about the rest of the world, the achievement and this. Think about Jesus. Meditate on him and yourself and find something that he has done for you to thank him. Thank God that, 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 that there's air in your lungs or in your nose. Thank God. Find something to thank him and you used to, to motivate yourself that God will also do this. This is what uh, David did when he was about to kill Goliath. He told the, the soldiers in the desert, he said, I kill a bear a lion. The prophet anointed me and I feel that anointing and I kill a bear a lion. So this Goliath here is nothing because the bear a lion, I hide and Goliath. So uh, that's all. Then, then he went and killed. The power was there. And he said, I'll cut off your head. He was not having anything. Power, 17 year old boy. Goliath, who had been a warrior all his, from his youth, he was able to conquer. So there's nothing that before you cannot conquer. If you really let Jesus join you, join you in your boat, he will see you through. May the Lord empower you and enrich you and fortify you and give you all that you need, the inheritance and the blessings. May every door be open. May your heaven be open upon you, whoever is watching. May God touch you and may God empower you. May God refresh you. May God renew you and meet you at the point of your knees, I pray. Whoever may watch this video, may the Holy Ghost surprise him or her with a miracle. May God touch you and begin to visit you in the dream of vision on trance, wherever you are with the geographical location. May God touch and bless you. Because the Lord has begun a good work in your life and you will perform until the day of Christ. And I urge you to keep so you will see those of you who are watching to God's work and the Lord will begin to bless you about this. That is the only way out. Because what you sow is what you will reap. May God be with you and answer you speedily as you sow in Jesus' name. Have a good day and thank you for your time. Amen. Today, God has delivered your enemies into your hands. Arise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth. And God's darkness the people. But God's glory and God. You are invited to join the General Overseer, Prophet Peter Kojosegu, as he directs our path to God's kingdom. On Praise TV Fridays, 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., you can also join us at our church auditorium at South Odoko, adjacent St. Anthony School, Sakaman. On Wednesdays, 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., last Friday of every month, half night, and Sunday service, 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. For more details, please call 
or 0205-840-459. Worship with us for a huge breakthrough and transformation in your life.